Our objective in this lesson is to solve problems involving rational algebraic expressions. But before that, here are the answers in extra problems I gave in our previous lesson. Kindly write your score in the comments section below. Today, we are going to focus our discussion on solving word problems. Let's start with the first one, number problem. One number is four times another. The sum of the reciprocals is 3 over 4. What are the numbers? So first, we're going to let x be our number. And then we have here 4 times another. So another number is 4 times of x. So 4x is equal to another number. Since we are talking about reciprocals, let us get the reciprocal of this too. The reciprocal of x is 1 over x. The reciprocal of 4x is 1 over 4x. It says here, sum of their reciprocals. So we're going to add this to 1 over x plus 1 over 4x and equate this to 3 over 4. To solve this, we have learned that we have to look for the LCD. And the LCD of this, we need 1x and 1, 4. So the LCD is 4x. I'll teach you a shortcut. I'm going to multiply both sides by our LCD. So multiply both sides by 4x. So in here, 4x divided by x, x will be cancelled out. So we are left with 4 times 1 is 4. Let's copy plus Let's continue. We have 4x divided by 4x. That would be 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Let's copy equals. Let's continue on this side. We have 3 over 4 times 4x. So in here, 4 and 4 will be cancelled out. So we are left with x multiplied by 3 is 3x. To solve for x, let us add this to first. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And then let us divide both sides by 3. So this will be cancelled out and x is equal to 5 over 3. Now we already have the value of x which is 5 over 3 and to solve for 4x we just have to multiply 4 with 5 over 3 since that is our x. And 4 times 5 is 20 so we have 20 over 3. Let's do some checking. Let us substitute 5 over 3 for x here. And 20 over 3 for 4x here. So let's do that. Are they equal? So we have here complex fractions. I hope you know how to deal with this. This 3 will go over here. So this will become 3 over 5. This 3 will go over here. So this will become 3 over 20. Are they equal? To solve for this one, we need the LCD. 5 and 20, the LCD is 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 3 will give us 12. 20 divided by 20 is 1 times positive 3 is positive 3. Are they equal? 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. Are they equal? 15 over 20 can be expressed in lowest terms. Both are divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we have 3 over 4. Is that equal to 3 over 4? Yes, it is. So our answers are correct. Therefore, the numbers are 5 over 3 and 20 over 3. Let's have another problem. Let us try this. A tank can be filled in 6 hours and can be drained in 9 hours. If the drain was accidentally left open for 6 hours while the tank was being filled, how long will it take before the tank is completely filled? For work problem, you have to understand that if the work is done, then that is equal to 1. Now let's have a table for this. For the fill, a tank can be filled in 6 hours, so meaning the rate is 1 over 6. It means after 1 hour, the tank is 1 sixth filled. The drain, it can be drained in 9 hours, so the rate is 1 over 9. While filling the tank, the drain was accidentally left open for 6 hours. So we are asked now, how long will it take before the tank is completely filled? So the rate for filling is 1 over 6. 
We are asked how long will it take, so that would be X. As the tank is being filled, the drain was accidentally left open. So the rate for drain is 1 over 9. We are going to subtract that. For how many hours that the drain was left open? For 6 hours. So we're going to multiply the rate of drain by 6. How long will it take before the tank is completely filled, meaning the work is done? So this is equal to 1. First step here is to solve for the LCD. The LCD of 6 and 9 is 18. 18 divided by 6 is 3 times 1 is 3 times x is 3x. 18 divided by 9 is 2 times 1 is still 2 times 6 is 12 minus 12. Copy equals 1. To eliminate this 18 here, we're going to multiply both sides by 18. So this 18 here will cancel out. We'll only have 3x minus 12 on the left side. And 1 times 18, 18 on the right side. Let us move negative 12 to the other side. It will become positive. 18 plus 12 is equal to 30. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 3. This 3 here will cancel out. 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. So this means it would take 10 hours to completely fill the tank. It would have been 6 hours only. But since the drain was accidentally left open for 6 hours, it would take 10 hours to completely fill the tank. Let us do extra challenge. Shinji found out that he can row 6 kilometers upstream in the same amount of time that he can row 10 kilometers downstream. If the current of the water is 3 kilometers per hour, find Shinji's speed in still water. For this kind of problem, we have a general formula for the rate, and that is equal to the speed of the vehicle in still water plus and minus the speed of the water or the wind. Let us let x be the speed in still water, and let c be the speed of the current. You are actually dealing with three speeds in this problem. The speed in still water, the speed if you are going against the current, and the speed if you are going with the current. So let's have a table, upstream and downstream, distance, rate, and time. The distance for upstream is given and that is 6 kilometers. For downstream, that is 10 kilometers. Now, for the rate, again, that would be the speed of the vehicle in still water. And that is what we are asked in this problem. So, this will be x plus or minus the speed of the water or wind. The speed of the water or the current of the water is 3 kilometers per hour. If you are going upstream, you are going against the current. So, this is minus 3. If you are going downstream, you are going with the flow of the current. So, this will be x plus 3. Now, for the time, let us recall our triangle. If we want t, let's cover t and that would be equal to distance divided by r. We already have the distance. We already have the rate. So, our t is d divided by r. So, 6 divided by x minus 3. For downstream, it would be 10 divided by x plus 3. It says here, same amount of time. So, the time is spent going upstream is equal to the time is spent going downstream. Let's do a little shortcut here. Let us do cross multiplication. 6 times x plus 3 is equal to 10 times x minus 3. 6 times x is 6x. 6 times 3 is 18. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times negative 3 is minus 30. Let us combine like terms. Let us copy 18 here. Let us move negative 30 together with this constant. It will become plus 30. Let us copy 10x. Let us move 6x to this side. It will become minus 6x. 18 plus 30 is 48. 10x minus 6x is equal to 4x. 
To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 4. So this 4 here will cancel out. 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. This means Shinji's speed in still water is 12 kilometers per hour. Let us check if this is 12. So 12 minus 3 is 9. 6 divided by 9 in lowest term is 2 thirds. If this is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15. 10 divided by 15 in lowest term is also 2 thirds. So this is correct. For the summary, here are the things that we learned in this lesson. Take time to understand this. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. So this is from ECE board exam of April 1999. Mike, Louie, and Joy can mow the loan in 4, 6, and 7 hours respectively. What fraction of the yard can they mow in one hour if they work together? Let's have our table. Mike can mow the loan in four hours, so his rate is 1 over 4. Louie can mow the loan in six hours, so his rate is 1 over 6. And Joy can mow the loan in seven hours, it means her rate is 1 over 7. What fraction of the yard can they mow in one hour if they work together? Work together. So meaning we are going to add their rates. So we have one-fourth plus one-six plus one over seven. Now for how long they work together? For one hour. So we are going to multiply their rates by one hour. So what fraction of the yard has been finished after working together for one hour? This is equal to x. We are asked what fraction have been finished after working together for one hour. The next thing to do here is to determine the LCD. Let's have a quick review in determining the least common denominator. All you have to do is to determine the prime factors of the denominators. Let us start with 4. 4 is equal to 2 times 2, or 2 squared. 6 is equal to 2 times 3. 7 is equal to 7 times 1. Afterwards, you're going to choose the prime factors having the highest exponent. Let us have 2. So here we have 2 squared. Here we have 2 to the first power. 2 is greater than 1, so we are going to choose 2 squared. Now for 3, we only have 1, 3, so we're going to choose this. Same thing with 7. There are no other 7 here, so we're going to choose 7. 1, it doesn't matter. It will not affect our LCD. So again, we choose 2 is squared, 3, and 7. We are going to multiply those. 2 is squared is 4 times 3 is 12 times 7 is 84. So our LCD is 84. 84 divided by 4 is 21 times 1 is still 21. 84 divided by 6 is 14 times 1 is still 14. 84 divided by 7 is 12 times 1 is still 12. Copy equals x. 21 plus 14 is 35. 35 plus 12 is 47. So 47 divided by 84. So if Mike, Louie, and Joy work together for one hour, they can finish 47 over 84 of the loan. To give you an idea, let us convert this into decimal. This is 0 0.56 or 56%. So after working together for one hour, they have finished 56% of the loan. Gets? Here are some extra problems for you to work on to master this lesson. Watch out for my next video lesson where I reveal the answers. Our next lesson is Rectangular Coordinate System.